Welcome to another look at my shelf. And this time we're going to be looking at this uh, awesome adaptation of Time Bandits from Marvel. And that was a set back 40p back in the day. A dollar if you're in the United States. Which is February 1982. And I picked this up from Dave's Comics in Brighton. And uh, here we go. Cast of many superstars there, whose likenesses were reproduced. And this interested me because, uh, partly because the artwork was by uh, David Lloyd of V for Vendetta fame. So that caught my eye. And if you're not familiar with it, this is a classic Tobinian uh, movie from the 80s, adapted in glorious Marvel style by David Lloyd there. And he wrote it, obviously. Uh, can't see who wrote it. I'll find that eventually. I'm sure it turned up. If you remember the movie, you remember some of these scenes playing out. Very faithful adaptation, but it's also maybe a bit more colourful. And of course, film adaptations always lose a bit of uh, dialogue when they convey to comics. This was about the struggle between good and evil, and uh, I think jury's out on which side's winning at the moment. We'll see. Let's see how it goes. Oh, look. Yeah, it's very jarring seeing this uh, compared to V for Vendetta. Oh, classic advert on that. There we go. There's an epic style model, MPC model kit, Empire Strikes Back. And there, look. Technical level of challenge. Build your own tractor. Kids in those days were all about the tractors. And uh, I want to see who wrote this. Uh, you can Google it. You might have to uh, go and Google that, or I might look it up and stick it in some comments somewhere. So, yeah, Time Bandits Floats Your Boat. Maybe try and track this one down. It cost me three pounds. So, uh, that was a bargain. Considering this is a bumper issue, 48 pages, 48 pages of goodness. And it's all quite tongue-in-cheek, very nice. Okay, this was another look at my show, bye!